Hey everyone, welcome to Rodney's Publishing. Today I've got a juicy story for you. Imagine this, you're in a happy relationship, everything's going great, but then your boyfriend gets an anime crush. Yeah, you heard me right, not a real girl, but an anime character. So meet Sarah. She's been dating Jake for a year now. Things were perfect until one day she noticed Jake spending more time on his phone. Curious, she peeked over his shoulder and saw an anime girl. Not just any anime girl, but his virtual girlfriend in a mobile game. At first, Sarah laughed it off. It's just a game, she thought. But then, Jake started talking about this virtual girlfriend more and more. He'd say things like, she understands me or she's always there for me. Sarah felt a pang of jealousy. How could a digital character compete with a real person? One night, Sarah decided to confront Jake. She said, Jake, why are you spending so much time with your phone? Jake looked up surprised. It's just a game, Sarah. What's the big deal? But for Sarah, it was a big deal. She felt like she was losing him to a bunch of pixels. Then came the breaking point. Jake missed their anniversary dinner because he was busy levelling up his virtual girlfriend. Sarah was furious. She stormed into his room and shouted, I can't believe you'd choose a game over me. Jake finally realised how much he'd hurt Sarah. He apologised and promised to cut back on his game time. But Sarah wasn't sure if she could trust him again. They had a long talk and decided to work on their relationship. Jake deleted the game and Sarah gave him another chance. So what's the takeaway here? Virtual crushes might seem harmless, but they can cause real life problems. Communication is key, folks. Always make sure to prioritize the people who are physically there for you. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hey, let me know in the comments if you've ever had a similar experience. Till next time, stay awesome. For the real story, pick up Leave Room for Human Errors by Rodney Johnson on page 24.